So we saw in part one of this video that we had, you know, 10 vehicle movements for 25 to 35 square meters of repairs, uh, which over a four day period was 40 vehicle movements in order to carry out 100 square meters of repairs. What I'm now going to propose is a, an alternative means of carrying out a similar type of job where we're going to go with four vehicle movements in one day to carry out 100 square meters of repairs. So what we're looking at here, for example, is if I just take a, a job here, you've got a, a road closure here on a country lane where you've got some some failure going on down the, the center joint of the road. But if we have a, a zoom in on the road itself, there's nothing wrong with the, the asphalt or the aggregate and the bitumen. It's purely the center line that's failed, not the asphalt. So as a result, to dig up this perfectly good asphalt, all that's failed is the water's got into the joint and, and frozen and broken out the asphalt. The, all of the other asphalt is fundamentally sound. So you know, what I'd like to suggest here is, well, you know, what if we could come into this job with an infrared heater, um, warm up the asphalt so that it's able to be recycled, um, scarify the material um, when it reaches, say, 180 degrees, and you know, throw that material into the, into the middle of the patch so that it can be used as a base course and, and shoveled into the, the potholes themselves, ready as a base course for a smaller or lesser amount of fresh asphalt to be manufactured on site in order to complete the repair. So you can see here, we've heated the, the defective area down the center of the road, we've warmed it up, we've scarified it, and it's now ready for a fresh bitumen to be added into the, the old material, whereby having heated it up, it's only sensible that one should be adding a, a reasonable amount of fresh bitumen into the old material in order to you know, provide some, some fresh oils into it before it's used as a base. Now, having recycled the perfectly good aggregate and bitumen and asphalt, if you will, that's already there surrounding the hole, all we need is a road mender on site in order to make a, a small amount of material so that we can finish the repair. So if you've got a, if you have a road mender or, or similar device on site, all you have to do, check the temperature, tip the material into the wheelbarrow, and Bob's your uncle. Out comes 100 kilograms of, or whatever it is, of, of fresh asphalt at 175 degrees. That's then moved across to the job site, ready to be added to the repair. The asphalt can then be raked and leveled as normal over the let's say 30 mil of recycled material that we've added fresh bitumen into, and it's ready to be rolled. So in this scenario, rather than saw cutting, breaking out and carting away significant tonnages of perfectly decent asphalt, only to come back with multiple tons of fresh asphalt to put in the ground with 40 vehicle movements over four days, we're able to have a, a small team come in and do 100 square meters of repairs in a single day well, we can carry out a fantastic repair. We can recycle what's already there with less vehicle movement, less material usage, less wastage in a far more cost-effective and sustainable fashion. So, you know, I hope that's been valuable or certainly something for, for people to think about. But if you've got any sort of questions or comments, please, please comment below. And uh, I look forward to, to chatting with people about this video. Thanks.